Yes, 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 yes. Shaka, how about African spiritualist Shaka Zulu? You killed more Africans than anyone on the planet. Get me. What about him? <laughs> what about him? Wait for you. It's all right for you what to come kumbaya thing today. Yeah, but what what, what about Bruh, African spiritualist? Let's change up quick, boy. Bruh. I know, you, you, you know it's you know it's there. Yeah. I thought it was no, just me. No, but that's no, but that's good. That's good. Hold on, hold on. We have to appreciate that because if there's a guest that comes on here, I suggest us who who are familiar with each other and we go back and forth and we're used to even dissing each other. I think we it's good if we show a good line of respect for somebody who comes in. You get me? Who knew? Especially if they've contributed. So to me, I'm not. Was that question? I, I, no, no, Ezra, I'm saying they they said they said you switched up, yeah. And I'm saying the fact that Ezra was showing good manners to our brother and he didn't come with that kind of energy that he comes with other brothers. I'm saying the brother was new and the brother is a learned brother. So I'm saying it's good that when we have our brothers come in that are new and they're learned, we show them that good respect when they come on. So I got I've only got bad manners when people show me bad manners. Real talk. Obviously, but think to the All I want to say is like, like, I want you to answer that question, Shepard. It's fine, bro. It's fine. The, the, the reality is that um, I, I, I do not, and I've never made any claims uh, to, um, to, to the perfection of African spirituality. I've never made that claim. Um, at the no, same no, time... About how African... If we're asking, if we're, the perfection of African spirituality is like when we're, we're not dealing with systems that have a a, 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 a doctrinal dogma um, that that teaches that this is the 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 the, the um the ultimate you know what I'm saying uh, human attainment in terms of spiritual. Yeah, so there's not a one uniformed thing. So so so, so Robert Ezra. So in relation to the issue of Shaka Zulu himself, um, Shaka Zulu to very Shaka Zulu to varying different degrees. Um, and there is conflict as to as to his dedication to the spiritual order. There are some say that, uh, who that he actually tried to revolutionize the whole entire um, uh, spiritual system of the people and make it more practical. Yeah. There are others who say he was very devoted to his priests. Yeah. Some say he even murked off some, uh, like some of the priesthood. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the ones that right? were there when he first when he first became king, right? he killed up cool? those. And I'm saying there, there are conflicting reports as to the extent to which all of these things are true. Yeah. And I'm I, my my own assessment of, of it is that there is some truth. Um, I'm not I, I'm not entirely sure as to as to exactly, you know, you know what I'm saying, exactly where the truths are in it. Yeah. Except to say that Shaka Zulu, he had he had an intention that because the records that we have, the records that we have is what we have in it. And it says, yeah, that he was a warlord who was going around killing. They're Africans, all different types of African spirituality people, yeah. We're getting murdered, yeah. So, like, all right, can't, Ezra, Ezra, can't, this is the third time, Ezra, this is the third time, yeah. But I'm just bearing in mind, this is the third time that in trying to answer your question, you've actually cut me and I'm letting you speak, yeah. I'm just bearing the point that, but go on. You just, like I said, you go on to stuff that I weren't even talking about. So, if I if I cut you, about, like, ask me about Shaka Zulu. I'm not quite finished yet, bro. You asked me about Shaka Zulu and I'm explaining something to do with Shaka Zulu. How am I not answering your question at the moment? Yeah, but you're talking about stuff. I asked a specific question, that's what I'm saying. About yeah, what, was killing, your, what, what was your question? Yeah. My question is, yeah. Yes. African spiritualist leader who yes. most African spiritualists venerate, such as yourself. Yes. Yeah. yes. Shaka Zulu. Yeah. Killed a lot, a lot of different African tribes and different yeah. African spiritualists. Yeah. More different types of religions that wasn't right. part of his thing were getting right. killed. So, right. not them say... All peaceful and hunky dory when the main guy who you venerate, right. yeah, was a warlord, warmonger, right? <laughs> Yo, shakas, I'm that's here for you, you know, brother. Give facts, give facts. So, uh, so Ezra, in, in what I was saying, how, how was I not answering your question? Just explain that for me. Because, yeah, I just want to, I just want a specific answer on like you, because you're trying to make out that it's all peaceful and you know, all fine, no, no, and I'm no, trying no, to say. No, yeah, you was you saying that basically African spiritualists are all like welcoming to do stuff, and I'm saying that's not what we see through the history. Oh, I, I can see see that now. Ezra, let me let me explain the point exact point where I think no, you're no, addressing. No, 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 no. Let me answer the question because I'm no, saying no, 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 no. I'm giving an example. Hold on, Shaka. What I'm doing is is what you said. So and what the brother said, which was they would have no problem between each other's spirituality. So I think Ezra is addressing that specific point where. This particular community over here can have the ifa. This one can have this, 
and they've got no problem between them. In other words, it don't matter. You can live together and you can Again. worship whatever you want to worship. So he's saying, you lot are claiming that we come along and we say, no, nah, you have to worship what we worship. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to lick you down. Now he's saying, well, here you go, Shako Zulu is coming along and he's saying, boom, I don't like your spiritual teaching of these priests, but I like them. So I'm going to lick you lot down and, and enforce this. That's what he's saying. Right, right. Isa, Isa I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how I've blocked out the question. Well, I thought you was on your way there, but but this, go on. I'm, 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 I'm giving. He, he's 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 not. He's mentioned a number of different things, and I'm trying to answer the question. <laughs> Ezra, so Ezra, he was on the way there. He was he was, he was definitely on on the lines of the answer. I'm started by saying I have started by saying that um, Shaka Zulu's dedication to an African spiritual system. There there are conflicting reports about that. I think that's mm. that that's a part. of that's a part of the answer to the question. It's it's, it's yeah, relative yeah, to that, right? Yeah. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, as as um as um as Shaka, as um sorry, my, my brother Iron Monchele in the chat is saying some people consider him to be a bloody atheist. Yeah, some people there are some people that I heard that before as well. Or <laughs> leaning to all so or leaning towards atheism, right? You know what I'm I've heard that before. Yeah, so I'm so I'm answering the question when I say that. Okay. <laughs> um. Right, and and I'm and, and in doing so, I'm not trying to just give my own personal. Um, viewpoint on the issue. I, I'm, I'm acknowledging that there that there is variation in understanding of Shaka's legacy. I think I think I'm entitled to do that. I think and I think it's honest to do that. I think it's honest to do that. Is, right? is, yeah. Can I just say, is there anything which is one second, one second, one second, not disagreed upon? No, no. In, re sorry, in relation <laughs> to what you're saying, Shaka. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Right. Give me a conflicting report, please. One sec, yeah. one sec, one sec. Right. When it comes to um, when it comes to the context in which Shaka Zulu. Um, is uh, is venerated? Yes, Shaka Zulu is venerated to, to a significant, so to a significant degree. Among Pan Africanists, however, there you will get conversations regarding the extent to which uh, Shaka Zulu contributed to um, uh, the formation, the development of a Pan African system or ideology, or detrimentally affected it. Either way, the issue where Shaka is concerned is to understand what was taking place in Southern Africa in the 18, sorry, from the late 1700s to the 1800s um, with, with Dutch invasion and British invasion into Southern Africa and the need uh, for, for, for the, the, the increased need for people groups to defend themselves and the different breakup of different nations um, uh, uh, were, were being picked off. And in order to, to, um, to, to, def to defend people groups people groups either joined or were subdued by other people groups is this that it just so happened that shaka revolutionized warfare in the region and 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 weaponry in the region to the extent that the zulu became uh the the the, 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 the superpower so to speak in southern africa during that time yeah so from an african spiritualist perspective we would not just blanket celebrate um 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 the, the killing of other african people we would seek to understand it um in in the context of what of, of the of the issues that were being faced at that time and learn the lessons um, um from that history and if you're talking about spiritually oftentimes those lessons would have been codified within the spiritual system through mythology through narratives um and, and all kinds of different things yeah, so we don't excuse just wanting killing of African people, but we don't just dismiss it either. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's possible to look at that and say, well, you know what I'm saying? This was incorrect, this was right, this was wrong, and evolve um, uh, traditions from that perspective. Yeah, fair enough. I understand you saying we can evolve. So, like, I get it. So that's like what I said at the start, and I understand today that you are more welcoming to other faiths and that, like, the African spiritually the African spiritual this that you lot are dealing with, like your community. I understand no, you're no, welcome. No. One second. No, that's, that's, that's okay. Shaka, man. A cat. Yeah, I understand you man today are welcoming and all of that. Yeah. But <sighs> all I'm saying is when we go back through history, like you just said, it's not always the case. You get me? So like I just feel like for you to go back in history and then talk about the stuff that you know, Christians and Muslims did them. You get me? I feel you have to look at yourself. Ezra, you Ezra, let me ask like, a question. Sorry, I have to. I have to. I have to correct the the the, 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 the um what I have said. Yeah, in in relation to, I have never claimed that that um that African 
spiritual traditions and African cultures have always been peaceful. That's never been a claim I've made. I've, you, you, of all the time that you've that I spent, the hours that I've spent discussing with, with, with you, brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's not the point, never, no. That's second, not the point. You will never hear, one second, you will never hear me make that claim, yeah? What Talk has been well, said, one second, one second, what has been said, yeah, what has been said um, is in relation to if if it because you put it in the context of Abrahamic traditions, right? If if you're if we're putting it in that context, yeah, mm. that the, the, we there has never been uh, a persecution of brothers and sisters who practice the Abrahamic um, tradition based upon brothers and sisters practicing an African spiritual tradition. The the, the dominant the dominant what? characteristic. What? One, what? Second, please, one second, please. Find me evidence if if it exists. Find me find me the evidence. And I, and I, and I, and I, I, I just What's it called? One second. Never. One second, please. Huh? One second. Please, one second, please. One Can second, I clarify please. what you're saying? Before you continue. Please, I am saying it. So, if you want clarity, listen. I'm saying it right now. I'm still in the in the midst of saying it. Thank you. Right. Um. What I what I have said many times is that the dominant characteristic, yeah, among, fr coming from an African spiritual perspective, not just the Abrahamic religions, but to religions in general, is to welcome. Yeah. Um. And and you will find this throughout history no, people never just burn up the, the, the muslim them and rejected them turn to rock where based upon the fact that they worship um, um, um an african deity right and at any point in history the dominant characteristic was to welcome people in the dominant characteristic in relation to abrahamic traditions and african spiritual traditions has been to subjugate to, 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 to demonize to mischaracterize mm. and, these, and, I, and i don't think that can be denied yeah, I'm not. I'm never saying that that there's been no point in history where an, a group of African spiritualists have done something wrong to a group of, of brothers and sisters who practice the Abrahamic tradition. I would never make that claim. Yeah, um, but the, when we talk about dominant characteristics, we can definitely say that that this that certain things have been a dominant characteristic in relation to African spiritual traditions, and certain things have not been a dominant character um, characteristic. That's all that's being said. Shaka Zulu is not a dominant characteristic. Um, right. is a good one that you venerate highly, though. Yeah, so, I'm saying. And you question, so, what, hold on, why do you, hold on, why do you think that is, Ezra? Why do you think that is? The reason why Shaka Zulu is venerated. No, 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 hold on, Shaka, wait, Shaka, 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 I want Ezra to answer. Ezra, why do you think that is? Huh? Ezra, um, why do you but, think Shaka Zulu is, is venerated in the way he is? Why do you think that is? Yeah, he's, he's seen as a mighty warrior, you get me, and a leader. No, he licked down who? What? No, but why? Because he licked down who? He licked down all the people around him, everyone. No, 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 bruv. I'm saying for us, yeah, on the other side of the transatlantic slave trade, especially diaspora, and even the, the people on the continent, why, what did Shaka Zulu, what's the main thing that we know about him for? Apart from researching that there, right? I'm fighting the white people, that white there Anglo. Exactly. Yeah, Anglo. And the only time that hey, we when they come wait, up wait, with wait. a gap. It was bro. primarily yeah. his grandson that did it. He really was more in a, he really No, but I'm saying what we know, bruv, even if that's yeah, true, I'm saying what we know of his name, and yes, the, the situation is that Shaka Zulu represents the great warrior that licked down the British that come there. And it's only because I'm just summing up the story. It's mm -hmm. like, only when they come with a Gatling gun, that's when they won. You get me? So yeah, I'm saying yeah, yeah. the imagery of, mm -hmm. of warriorship against these colonizers, I'm saying that's what we have. So I'm saying. Mm -hmm. it, so that's a clarify, Issa, you're correct. But and that's the debate because of the fact that Shaka Zulu wasn't just licking down, man. He was he was absorbing people into the Zulu Empire. Yeah. And and a lot of the smaller groups, um, some of them didn't even have to come to them, they, they, they joined in in, in 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 willingly. But what happened was because of that, the um Africans in Southern Africa were able to um uh put up uh some some significant resistance. To all the tribes had to join together, yeah, to go and fight and just survive. You get me? Because this guy was on a map thing. You get me? That's no, Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. I'm saying what, what you just said is just not true. What you just said is not true. not true at all. Uh, you just said it's not true. It, I, I went, I went, and again, I'm not. I I don't I don't consider um everything that Shaka Zulu did to, did to be correct. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. It's about understanding. Um, well, Shaka, saying, the problem is when you talk about um, Shaka Zulu, we realize there's the history that was written by the Zulu people after the Kingdom of Zulu right. about Shaka. Don't forget, Shaka Zulu was supposed to die as an old man, but then right. there's other writers that said he was assassinated by his own men. Right. But I, 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 simply I, I, follow the orders of his grandfather because his mother wanted to recreate her father. So Shaka, because the first thing Shaka Zulu conquered was the Zulu people. Shaka's the one who let them come to everyone out. Them in. Yeah, at the time, weren't people saying, why is he letting in these men? Like, I've read it, fam. Hit me. Um, Ezra, oh, Ezra, 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 Ezra,
yeah he's the one who let them come in let them get comfortable and things yeah and then yeah when they see that the wealth and all that is got and the, and, and the power yeah they see stuff that they can try ban doing yeah obviously they're gonna do that in it but shaka's responsible for that and then obviously he warred against them afterwards yeah but you brought them in the first place bro. Okay, so I like to make it clear to everyone that when the Europeans first came, they did not come with the intention of trying to look like the bad guys that we know them today. The Portuguese came in. Let uh, me just clarify the, the thing that seems to be misunderstood on these two parts here, yeah, where Ezra and Shaka are. I should say misunderstanding maybe on, on Ezra's part, where what Shaka's pointing out is when it comes to, let's say, our people, so-called on our side, maybe not Ezra and the Hebrew movement, but most definitely, let's say, the, the Christians and whatever else, and the Orthodox Sunnis and them, their behavior was, number one, consistent, as in continuous against us, and number two, it was backed by their interpretation of the scriptures. What Shaka is saying is there may be instances within the history of African people, as they call them, where their either members or groups of people have behaved a certain way but that wasn't part of their continuous teaching or behavior. So I think that's the, the major difference that Shaka is drawing in relation to the comparison between the African two. African systems are usually, they usually will change based off the ruler. Because if there's a wartime, you would see, like, for example, if I can refer to E5, you would see more of a, um, a combination. Because I can tell you, I can condemn anything that was wrong in the past. I will tell you that when the Yoruba went against, the when a kingdom went to war, a war against another kingdom, the goal was was to kidnap like top tier soldiers and their families, sacrifice them to Ogun. If Ogun loves that blood, he's going to give you more of it. He'll give you the power to get more of it. So you'll be able to take your enemies more and more and more and more and more. You know, so it, but, but, it's but, a but, war but, but I'm saying the system itself is not that though, is it? But, 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 but also though, also though, Shaka Zulu as a venerated Pan African ancestor is not considered an infallible prophet either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, Shaka Zulu is not a, a, in a lineage of prophets that, that are unquestionable. This, this, <laughs> this, right? this no, but that's, that wasn't even my point. He's a venerated I'm, guy. I'm even, even, no, is, after yeah, Shaka, 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 even if he's not, I'm saying the system, because remember it's an oral tradition, I'm, I'm therefore saying you'd have to point out the patterns of what's more consistent. No, I and agree. I'm saying, Isa, yeah. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm saying though that, that, okay. that he's saying that Shaka Zulu was not perfect and he did some things that were, that were beneficial and not beneficial. Yeah. And, and the time that he was living in was wherever, whatever. It's based upon the fact that there is no African spiritualist tradition that considers Shaka Zulu to be a, a, a what's it called? Um, a, an infallible yeah, we don't. Yeah. I don't have to. I don't have to justify the wrongs that Shaka did. I don't have to do it, right? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 nah, but then the same if you go to the Swazi nah, people, if you go to the Swazi yeah. people, you're, you're critiquing people, and you have to acknowledge your history too. You but, can't but, just pick but, and choose. But, 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 One second, but, brother, brother. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. You can't just pick and choose from the history that you like in your history, and and present that as you know peaceful African. You have okay. to also accept. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. Simple. I promise. I won't, yeah. I promise. I won't pick and choose from the, from what I from what I just what I just like. Yeah. I promise. I won't do that. All right. Okay. Okay. Give thanks. All right. So hold on. Let me just let me just read something out. Our brother Dalian Adolfo says that's false. Ogun does not take human sacrifices. Where did DC Omo Ogun get that info? You hear what I said first, though. I said that African spiritual systems would change based off the rulers. That people do practices based off the rules. I never said Ogun indicates that. I no, said no, do no. it. Um, well, you, you've answered that then. That's good. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, I was no, just doing oh, no, 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 But let I me um, Shakra, in sorry, Shakra, in relation to what you said though, the yeah. problem is if you now make Shaka Zulu an ancestor mm -hmm. and a role model for people that come along for children, etc. Um, although he may not be seen as infallible in that sense. Because, to be honest, the prophets in the Old Testament, like, for instance, Solomon and David, are not seen by the Hebrew Israelites, as far as I know, and definitely not the Jews, as infallible. They might see the Messiah as infallible. They might see even Moses. And even Moses, they, they acknowledge, made certain mistakes or whatever. Right? So, in the same way, they can, they can criticize those who hold them up high as examples and inspirations. Um, that represent that same thing, the, the role models, the guidance, right. etc. 
All right, Isa, let, 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 me, let me give you an, an example direct from um, the, the IFA tradition here yeah, in terms of how ancestors are dealing with. The an ancestors are not considered to be infallible, yeah? But, the, but, but, but the, the good of the ancestors is preserved for the sake of the examples of the, of the community as well as the negative, yeah? Does that make sense? Ancestors in the tradition are considered to be a part of the cultural and, and physical and spiritual continuity of the people. So you don't forget your ancestors. It's not forgetting your ancestors, it does not make them perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So and, and so you so you so but you couch that 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 you you make virtues out of their virtues and you make lessons out of their fallibilities, and yeah. both of those things become sacred, a part of the mm -hmm. sacred text, a part mm -hmm. of the text, right? Um I I'll give you an example, yeah. That's um, similar to Prophet Muhammad in the Quran, by the way, but go ahead. Yeah. I'll give you an example, yeah. Um yeah. Um, this is I'm taking I'm holding a, a book in my hand called Traditional Religion in West Africa, and it's edited um, by uh, E. A. Ade Adegbola, yeah. Um, and in this uh, particular chapter, written by the same person, um, uh, it's entitled uh, "A Historical Study of Yoruba Religion." Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. In mind, okay. Right. And so this sub chapter that is called Obatala and Shango. Yeah. And it says, those who are responsible for spreading the Shango cult, yeah? Now, bear yeah. in mind, the Shango cult, yeah, is a particular expression of the Ifa religion that is specific to those who are devotees of Shango. It's not yeah. a separate from the rest of the Ifa um, tradition, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's recognized that they have their own unique expression, yeah? Um, so those who were responsible for spreading the Shango cult would certainly have to contend with the popular Obatala cult, which went back to the time so to time immemorial, yeah. Obatala is one of the earliest um developed Odisha, yeah. So the, the devotees of Obatala would predate the devotees of Shango by a significant margin. So when Shango comes about, the, his devotees, yeah, would have some we know some contention, yeah, with the with the Abatala people in. Okay, all right. Um, um which went back to the time immemorial, the time before Odudua, yeah, which is the the, the, the chief uh patriarch, yeah, of well. Patriarch and matriarch, depending on on how old you, how far you're going back of the Yoruba. Um, and expression, so and expressing the fact of its invincibility, even the worshippers, sorry, in the face of an Adudua takeover of the land. Sorry, let me rephrase that again. Yeah, the contention between Obatala worshippers and the vanguard of the court of Shango was depicted in a later myth. And ritual plays. Such myths speak of Obatala and Shango as friends. The story is told that Obatala once decided to pay a visit to his friend Shango and insisted on going in spite of an oracular uh, predictions of an ill-fated journey. It happened that as he got near his friend's kingdom, he saw his friend's horse, which had escaped and took and took it in order to return it to his friend Shango. Shango's servants, who did not recognize him, took him for a thief. They held him um, and put him in prison where he languished for seven years. During the period, however, Shango's kingdom was struck by what was struck by climatic misfortunes, which made life in society miserable. When consulted, the oracle pointed to an innocent man languishing in jail. Shango later identified his friend, Obatala, and had him released. This myth and the ritual plays... Let me read that part again. This myth and the ritual plays connected with it established the Obatala cult as only one among others, able to assert its lasting quality through its moral strength, particularly loyalty, patience, and long suffering. If Obatala represents Ileife and Shango represents Oyo, yeah, two different um, 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 uh, places, cities, yeah, um, and Oyo became an empire, the implication for, so for the social history and relationships among the Yoruba is clearly that Ileife has to be uh, has to accept being just one among the Yoruba towns, yet having a moral and spiritual influence among them all. 
it is significant um, that this is that this simple truth has been ritualized. Yeah, and so the ritual drama depicts a conflict among the ancestors of the people, and it and and the, the conclusion of the drama is is intended to bring reconciliation to the community as a as a whole. It acknowledges mm -hmm. mistakes. It acknowledges wrongdoing, but it seeks to reconcile and correct and and restore what is referred to in the Ifa tradition as Iwa Pele with his balanced character. And balanced character it operates on the individual level, it operates on the family level, and it also operates on the communal, the nation, and the empire level. Iwa Pele must be restored, and that's what that ritual drama is about. Mm -hmm. No, brilliant. Yeah. So man, don't have, man don't have to look at, at Shaka Zulu and say, well, we can't, we can't assess what he did was where, where, where he contributed positively to, to something and negatively to something. It's, it's, not, it's not a problem. It's not just that. I mean, you pointed out one of the things was you, have, you can't just look at what he did. You have to look at all the other variables and circumstances. Exactly. Shaka Zulu comes about he would have made those decisions. Yeah. In an era in which, in which, um, in an era of increased um, European invasion on the African continent for the purpose of colonization, um, that's that's the era in which Shaka Zulu comes about. You know what I'm saying? Well, well I, let me say this: I would have thought if somebody said that to me, I would have automatically thought that's the reason why he would have killed other people that were either part of his group or his tribe or whatever else would be because of some evidence of betrayal. That's what I would have it's thought. Not, it's not even just that, um, bro. It might not be that, but well, I'm some, just saying. You know, no, and, and the, 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 it, would, it would also be true to say, however, that there, there are some groups, um, smaller groups in West, in, sorry, in Southern Africa during the time of Shaka that would have been, that were more susceptible to being uh, co-opted for the mm -hmm. agenda of the colonizers. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, that, that's, that's a fact too. So some of the groups that Shaka subdued were people that, that, that were... Uh, in line with, or we're Wishy going washy. down the road of being in line with the British and the Dutch, and yeah. and form alliances with them. So Manu Vey said, "Yo, we're not, we're not, we're not accepting this." That, and that, that happened not just on the Shaka, happened on the various different groups of people. But yeah. that's my point. But that, this, this is my point. That would happen. That would be a norm. That's my whole bloody point. Do you get what I'm saying? That that would be a norm of anyone taking any prerequisite type of thing. Where you know, I mean, you know, it's not a good example to use. But when say Bush said, "What you're either for us or against us," so so if he was working with justice. There's, when it's something so important at that situation, obviously you can say what well, the extreme measures he took were relating to those people. Well, yeah. Yeah, but you're right, though. It's not a good example to use. I mean, we're not... We're not <laughs> All right, that's that way. Because <laughs> what, 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 I'm saying, because everyone knows about that, innit? I'm, what I'm saying is, where, where it becomes an extreme situation, where other people are still thinking, well, we're not sure, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, what's wrong with you? I ain't got time for wait for you to flip and wait for them to come in the borders and we can't do nothing. You get what I'm saying? So he's like, all right, forget you, boom. You know what I mean? And, and move on. So yeah, yeah. Right By the way, that, 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 does my mic sound distorted in any way? No, it's yeah. actually better now than it has been for a long time, to be right, honest. Good time, good time, good time. But um, so, so, so I just want to distinguish, is it, so it wasn't because of a spiritual belief difference or spiritual practice difference. It would be directly relating to um, whether these people were, a detriment when it comes to the Europeans and their invasion. Would you that, agree? That, I, I'd say that's that's the primary thing. At the same time, look, I, when, you, when you when you hear stories about Shaka, you you realize you 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 can come to the conclusion that the brother has some character flaws. Yeah, he was a very aggressive individual. And so forth, right? What's it called? Yeah, they, 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 there's, no, there's no doubt about that. At the same time, um, at the same time, bearing in mind that the priesthood of of Shaka's time. Would have would have developed under certain circumstances, and so there have been movements, indigenously and independently among uh, um, African spiritual systems, to reduce what is referred to as "quote unquote" superstition, to to deal with the principle of the thing, to affirm the principle of the thing, um, uh, rather than um, the 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 what's it called the um. What people, because Europeans refer to this thing called fetish, yeah, and fetishization mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And when you degrade people's culture, it begins to manifest that the, 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 the um, inside it becomes it, it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy in the sense that the, the people begin to manifest the colonizers' view of what it is they deal with, what it is, and who it is right. they are, right? And so, so yeah, and so and so independently among African spiritual traditions, you will find movements whereby um, people are looking are seeking to. Uh, to, to move in a particular direction, uh, you know what I'm saying, at a particular moment in time. 
with a, depending mm. on the emphasis of the nature of the time mm. that they're actually living in. These things happen, yeah. So, man, you know what I'm saying? So, all these things are are, are, are a part of the thing. So, our ancestors um are are were are we're not when we are not above questioning our ancestors. We and, and and in fact, it is important to question our ancestors because that is the only way that we're going to correct the mistakes that they made. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it, it would be considered irresponsible of the of the um of the African traditionalists to not question their ancestors. And if you look at a lot of um, African spiritualist ceremonies, the the um the a lot of them are are, are revolving around uh like the that like the text that i just read said reenactments re yeah of times and periods in the ancestral tradition so this is why you, you don't always get corpuses and, and books that are written because the, the the history is a living thing among the people mm. so it, it's ritualized and and we're not we're not always dealing with literal civilizations so the, the people um, will ritualize um if you look at for example um i've been to um the the and this is why i say i can't deal with this idea of just picking from here there and everywhere i'm not a practitioner necessarily of 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 the the the, the and i always pronounce this wrong because it's a subtle pain but the gut tradition is called pa, yeah it's pronounced kpa all right and as a part of their tradition they have a thing called the homoa festival yeah and the homoa mm -hmm. festival is a is a is a is, a, is one of the many quote-unquote yam festivals yeah um, or harvest festivals in in west africa but as a part of the festival and i've been and i've taken part in it um what's it called um they they dramatize the the the, the, the journey the migration of the Ga people from one part of the continent to another part of the continent and a a, 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 a period of trial and tribulation that they underwent um as a result of that and there's all kinds of different ways that they dramatize it um and and part of it is actually about um dismissing uh european invaders from their land as as was being explained to me, um, what's it called? Whilst I was there, yeah, um, and you know what I'm saying. And then you have a similar one in among the Igbo called the Iriji. You know what I'm saying. Then among the uh, the Akan or like the Ashanti, they the, the uh, Kwasi Dae. Uh, you know what I'm saying. There's, there's all kinds of different things. So these things are ritualized in the um in in the in the ceremonies of the people, yeah. Which is why I say we have to look at the the the, the, the spiritual traditions on their own merit, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and not through the lenses of world world quote-unquote religions whether they're from the west or the east because they've been given a, a, an air of respectability where african spiritual systems have not been given that air of respectability hmm no no 100 100 i agree i just i just want more understanding when there's debates or arguments at least um both sides are not talking past each other or wasting time arguing around misunderstandings which i i keep finding is happening when it comes to this subject matter yeah, like, I agree on that still. Like, you know, there's a lot I agree with there still. You get me? I agree. I'm just saying, like, like Shaka Zulu, like, my man, come on. If he was anybody else, yeah, who had brought the white man to the region, yeah, then went around killing everybody, yeah, everybody that ain't him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That same is forced though. Shaka Zulu, whatever, whatever wrong or right he did, he never would just went right killing everybody that wasn't him. That's not, that's not the history of Shaka Zulu. <laughs> so, Shaka, so tell me what tribe Shaka tell me what tribe Shaka Zulu didn't fight against in that region. No, what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, bro, I'm, I'm not saying that Shaka Zulu didn't kill people. What I'm saying to you is that Shaka Zulu just didn't just go around killing everybody that wasn't him. If that if that was the case. Then he then 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 the Zulu yeah, Empire. Yeah. One second, please. Then then the Zulu Empire would not have grown because he was actually absorbing people into the, into the Zulu he, Empire. He absorbed the Zulu Empire. Yeah. Oh, no, no, then... no, Ezra, you're missing the point. Ezra, you're missing the point. There are people today that will not want Zulus that are Zulus because they were absorbed into the empire by Shaka. That is the point I'm making. Yeah. So he, he couldn't yeah, have. Been... But what but does that make him? Does that make him good? Because he made. People who were ain't Zulus, who had different ancestors and different stuff, now they're all they're Zulus. No, Ezra, he wasn't addressing that point. He was addressing your point that he went around killing everybody. So yeah, but I'm saying you can't then say I, that he, that he, makes him good because that wasn't your point that he's I, good or. He, I, this, is why, this is why I said from the start. Yeah, initially, um, he took over the Zulu Empire in it. Yeah, and yeah, I get it. He wasn't killing everybody, but we know what goes on. 
yeah, they kill off the men, the warriors, and the rest of the people, the kids, the the children, the old elderly people, you become part of my yeah. empire now, you get me? And that's just that. So now this tribe's no more, everybody's Zulu now, you know get me? So like, that's all Shaka's talking true. That's not true. How? Because they never got rid of they never got rid of who their tribe was the the Swazi the um Lesotho, there's two versions of the Lesotho these people just had a cultural they were part of the Zulu they still knew who they were they were just part of the Zulu there was just a unif he was trying to unify the land so that they could fight against their oppressors that was the first step so when the Osman um Bay Osman of the Turk when he came from before the Ottomans really lost mm-hmm. all you had no, one saying, you have to understand that. all the tribes. Before they launched, I get, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, once he's came and taken over this tribe now, yeah, your priests and your chores or whatever, that's no more. You're dealing with what he was dealing with now. That's yeah, the facts. That's, that's the mm-hmm. point. That's the, that's, the, that's the point that 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 Brad is making. You, you, you have to attest the fact that, 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 that among the Zulus today, you know, the people can still trace their, their lineage, and and at the same time, remember that the Zulu are actually a sub a subgroup of a bigger group called the Unguni. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not a, they're not just a one group in and of themselves. There's there's a whole Unguni group of people that of, of which the Zulu are one. Yeah, so some of those people that were subdued were actually were actually um ancestrally linked to the Zulu already. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? And they can still today trace what their lineage is. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what, what what's being left out is the context. Yeah, um for 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 for, for Shaka's uh, development. Um, in that in that area of the world, but again, man, don't have to like. I can I I readily accept that um that that Shaka Zulu um um uh did things that I wouldn't seek to replicate today. That we should learn from differently. That we won't that we that, that we shouldn't promote um as in terms of going forward. But I also understand that the, the unique situation that he was dealing with in that area of the land, and I also understand that um that that um had it not been for 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 the, the unification of the zulu people that the, the dutch and the english would have had a far easier time this this this, this man scared the, the british to death to the, to the point where <laughs> they wouldn't even go near the thing right they waited yeah, about the wouldn't go near the thing you know what i'm saying yes they came to go back let's go back and come back with gatling guns that's the invent a new machine for it that one brought them to the area. He wanted brought them. He's the one who gave them green light to come to the area and mess about. So just to end up fighting them, just man. Let me speak. Let me speak. Yeah, I'm saying he's the one who initially brought them to that region. So it's all his fault. What happens from there? I don't hear about his wars. Get me, I don't want to hear about none of that. Ezra. That's your business. Ezra, you you're, them Ezra, Ezra, you're wrong. Ezra, you're wrong. Because, <laughs> Ezra, you're wrong. Because the Europeans, you are, you are. Ezra, you're wrong. You know why you're wrong? Fundamentally wrong. Because because the Europeans were there b- long before Shaka was born. Yeah, I'm saying that region. I said that region. Yes, that region I'm, I'm, yes, I'm saying the Europeans were in Southern Africa before Shaka was born. He didn't bring them, come there, sir. Yeah, in, but in let, but, but let's say, them. Oh, let's say you're nah, correct. You're let's say you're correct. I, I, said Africa. I said in Southern Africa. I said in Southern Africa. I said in Southern Africa. I said in Shaka. Listen, but I said let's... in the Zulu that Shaka was real. Let's, um, let's um, say, yeah. let's he's say. One that Shaka. Let me just speak because he, you know what it is? He's straw man in again. I'm saying in the region that Shaka was ruling, he's the one who first allowed the white man to come in there. Facts. All right. Yeah, let's let's say you're correct. I'm 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 not agreeing with you, but let's say you're correct. Yeah, for argument's sake. Okay. Let's say Shaka allowed them in. And then, then he said, hey, hey, well, no, this, what would they do a while ago? It'd be wrong in us, still. We'll turn around and, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, yeah. whatever. What's the problem? Like, what's the problem? Yeah, the problem is you still brought them in the first place. So it's your fault, whatever happens from okay, there. All yeah. right. Yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I saw Shaka Zulu self-correcting now. What's the problem? I don't understand. Yeah, but you're still blasting the end. You get me? So now yeah. what? Yeah, all of us did, bro. All of us did. What's the but point? He's, he's the one who brought them coming also. Initially, no. when the coming there, they slide. Listen, yeah. one second, Shaka. Shaka. Yeah, what I'm saying is when they come initially with their forked tongue and their little slipperiness, yeah. If he would have turned around and said, nah, 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 you're not happening, yeah, then it would have been dif- different. Yeah, I mean, he's allowed them and he's allowed them to see and scope out his team. And then he gets conquered. So he it's his fault. Simple as that. The people that told him not to bring them, the, the they, one they, they never conquered Shaka, by the way. But 
but the but the fact of the matter is, but the fact of the matter is, but the fact of the matter is, um, Shaka Zulu was one, um, and the Zulu were one in a whole continent of people that was being invaded, east, west, north, and south. Yeah, Shaka Zulu is not the reason why colonization took place. The Europeans were invading. I know you never said that, but. Listen to what I'm saying. You're saying that he let them into that region. It, Shaka wasn't the only group, um, and the Zulu weren't the only groups of people that I'm were happy. I'm talking about everyone else. I'm talking about Shaka. Don't put yeah, telling me about not, everyone you're else. Not, you're, not, you're, not you're not understanding. You're not, you're not, you're not, Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. You're not. You're, you're not understanding what it is I'm saying because you're not appreciating. You're not appreciating the historical context. You're trying to. You're trying to pin. No, but saying. you're not. But because if you were, then you wouldn't be pinning the, the historical context down to Shaka Zulu alone. Shaka Zulu. I'm not. Pinning, I'm not pinning the historical context, and this is what I say: you keep straw manning. Because listen to the actual words I say, Shaka. Listen. I'm yeah. done in it. I'm he done. I'm, I'm allowed this way. them into that region. That's your, that's your interpretation. Say about historical context and that, yeah. this and that. Yeah. Just go that's with fine. what I'm actually saying. Get me. That's fine. You, that, that's your interpretation. You're entitled to it. But, yeah. All right. That's fine. Ezra, you're entitled to it. You're entitled to it. If you want to focus on that exclusively, then you're entitled to do that. Ezra, the point is, even if he did, yeah. So he let's say responsible for the own land. Fun. No, but bruv, bruv, that, that's not the first. He's not the first person in history to let's say be he deceived was, by. An, 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 no, 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 no. I know, no, no, bruv. Let me. We're talking it. So I'm saying to you, yeah, what story. is the, what is the well, overall point you're making when you're saying, well, it's his fault? Like the, old, the that, overall point is that yeah. he's one of those sell out people that allowed them in there to come and cause all this madness in the first place. I know he's oh. not the first, he wasn't the last, but he's one of the list. Get me, get oh, no, no, so your overall point is a sellout. Is that your point then? Um, the overall point is he allowed colonizers to come and colonize. Okay, okay. So you're all right. Well, he's incorrect, but I can't be able to debate that. He's a title to his opinion. That's that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one, I can show you evidence where people, where even his own priests, were telling him not to let them in there. His own ones that he selected. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm, yeah. That's that's fine. And if you, and if, if, if if because of that, you consider Shaka to just be a sellout. Um, then 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 you're entitled to your opinion. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to debate that with you. I I'm think, Ezra, maybe, Ezra, I think your point is the way he's seen. Yeah. Ezra, is your you point the way that he's seen and praised is not the way he is? Is, is that your main point? Yes, like, the way he's right, seen? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, I get you, I get you. I no, no, I hear that because is it, is you're saying some things which a lot of people um, probably wouldn't. Like, for instance, although I disagree with your, your end conclusion, I'm saying the points you're making... I, d I know they're not generally known by the majority of people. You get like, what I'm saying? Exactly. So, Manas, Manas, Manas already said, Manas, Manas already said, yeah, that 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 Shaka Zulu is not considered to be an infallible prophet. That, that, that doesn't exist. So we we we. I, never we, said we it I didn't. Say, I'm not talking about what you said. I'm saying what I'm saying. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. What's it called? The reality is that that um that that that. Man, which I said from the beginning, that man is entitled to look at Shaka and see what was positive and what was not so positive and, and, draw, and draw lessons from, from either of those things. It's as simple as that. I mean, no, Shaka, let's be fair, yeah? If you're having a conversation with me or he's Israelite or someone like that, yeah? And then you say, well, he's not an infallible prophet. And then when man says, I didn't say he was, and you say, you didn't say he did. Then the question is, well, why would you put that out there Exactly. If none of us are saying it. This, this is yeah. where the problem arises. Oh, no, 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 he, yes, he's venerated, but veneration doesn't make you infallible. That's what I said. So it's no, not I, like I, I'm putting something that was in the box. No, 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 no I, I, I agree. I'm saying, all I'm, my only point is, you're venerate. I never said you he's a prophet or you worship him or anything. I said you're yes, venerating. Yes, he's venerated. Yes, he's venerated. Allowed the white man to 
come in there and do it. No, like we're venerating an African. We're venerating an African. We're venerating an African who put up a stand against European colonization. That's what we're venerating. Do we let them in in the first place? Hold on, Ezra, Ezra. But he, Ezra, but Ezra, Ezra hold, on, hold on, Shakira. Hold on one second. Ezra, he already clarified that with the examples. That's your interpretation. Of taking, of taking Ezra, listen, when, when our brother Shakira said, you take the positive and you follow it and you learn from the negative. So he's already clarified all of that which you're now coming back at with. I'm saying it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah I understand that. He's already given all of that. I get that. I'm not. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not debating anything else. But what I said, he said, you know, the ones. No, no, like, no. I hear, I hear what you're saying. I do, and this is what I say about the cross conversation between you. To, to be honest, I mean, no, because no cross it, conversation. What it, what it is here is that. Mm. See, the, the thing is here. The thing is here. What 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 it is is that mostly what I do is I I, I defend um, African spiritual systems. Yeah, there are yeah. there are there are people who come on just to get at Christianity and just to get at Islam and just to get at Sunnis and just to get at Hebrews and whatever. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in either of those camps, yeah? Generally speaking, I am defending... Ezra, Ezra, hold on, let him, let him finish. Let me finish. I am, I, I am trying to... I am defending African spiritual systems, yeah? Um, and these kinds of things. And yes, and in that context, in the context of what I am pro, African spiritual systems, I am critical of those um, uh, bodies of thought that have negatively characterized it. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's that. So I don't, so when we have these kind of conversations, yeah, like that, this, 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 this weight that people come at me with, uh, in terms of, yeah, but when you're criticizing the, the, the Abrahamic, whatever, 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 you can't do that because Shaka Zulu doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm, it, my, my, my critique critique of the Abrahamic uh, tradition is has nothing to do is not built upon a hatred for 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 the Abrahamic tradition the people of the book um or any or any of the prophets therein yeah it's the extent to which um the 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 the, the, the traditions have been uh promoted as superior to other traditions and the relationship between those traditions and the, and the, the mm. practitioners and how those things have been imposed on people that do not come from that tradition Right. And, and so there is a need to restore dignity yeah, and understanding about these traditions in spite, in, in, in spite of how they describe their body traditions. This is a legitimate and a just uh, uh, school of thought. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I agree. I agree. Really. But all I'm saying is when we're venerating somebody yeah, who's <laughs> killing slaves to the Cape colonizers, who's killing many Africans, allowing the white man to come in and one bag of things. I'm just saying we have to be like, we have to be careful who we're venerating. And, you get me? We have to look at the people and, them properly. Yeah. And, 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 why did he? Well, why did he let the Europeans in? Ezra, Ezra, I, I, well, I'll, I'll promise you that my children won't, won't be pouring libation to you after you pass. Yeah. I promise oh you. Oh my god. Yeah. god. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. That was a joke. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. That was a joke. Ezra, I tell you what, though. No, serious. I'm to be serious. very serious. To be very Ezra. serious, yeah. Ezra, to be very serious, yeah. If by some 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 um some stroke of of of, of divine destiny, yeah, that you become uh a, a a key um contributor, yeah, to the liberation of black people, I mm. promise you, yeah, I promise you that that Hebrew or no Hebrew, yeah. Um, mm. as, you, as, as you would define yourself, my children will call your name in a libation. I promise yes, you. That. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I promise you that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ezra, I'm trying to ask you something, yeah? yeah what, what I'm what saying is, my, my, parent, my kids ain't going to be pouring libations. Hey, I'm curious. Oh, Where did you get your knowledge of that? And, 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 and Ezra, and Ezra, Ezra. Nah, I nah, nah, I'm responding. That. Nah, nah, I'm responding. I'm responding. Yeah, you love doing that. What I'm saying is, my kids ain't pouring out no libations to nobody who lets white people come. Nobody who sells people to white people. <laughs> oh, no. Ezra, you're ready no. for my question. What's uh, the reason, uh, uh, based yeah. upon your knowledge of, Sh of Shaka Zulu, Ezra, yeah. what would be the reason why he would have let the Europeans to that specific area you're saying that he was responsible for? I.e., was it because he thought to himself, I would like to invite some people in that would end up dominating my people then and therefore I'd have to end up killing my own people and others to end up fighting them? Or was it they somehow convinced him based upon whatever it was and he was tricked by them and made a big error? Yeah, either one, whichever one it is. So was it, the sellout, then? Was it, hold on, so was it sellout 
It wasn't sellout. It was a big error. You know, if, if, you're, if, if you're priest at the time and the people around you are telling you, yeah, don't do this, yeah, don't do it, don't do it, yeah, and then you just do it, yeah, then it is what it is. <laughs> no, I hear that. I hear that. And in response to um, uh, Shakara's point that he was known to be very aggressive, um, you have to remember if the man's got all of this warrior thing in his head, then he's manifesting that all the time, bro. You get what I'm saying? That's going to predominate his, his hormones. Everything in him is going to be predominated by that. So that just makes sense still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I mean, Ezra, can't you just focus on the fact that, yeah, he made an error and then he done some real work after? Yeah, that, right? I do, like, don't forget, like I said, I'm just saying, and it like, I'm I'm not just going to sugarcoat the thing and say, yeah, he's a great guy, this, that. Yes, he has his positives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He... He evolved the African warfare from something that was like basically harmless to something where you can really defend yourself now. Yeah, I get like there's a lot of things he added to the thing. Yeah, but all I'm saying is yeah, like flipping when it, when it comes to the negatives, you have to bring them out too. From you can't just talk about the good stuff. You get me? All right. I, I uh, promise you this. I promise you this. How is Solomon remembered? I, I promise you this. Yeah. What's it? What's it? Um, Isa. I I yeah. When it comes I'm to about. When it when it comes to Shaka Zulu, I, I, I don't I don't know how much you frequent. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, Wazoo, all right. Yes, them can't hear you. Them can't hear you. Yes. Big up, baby Shaka. Hello, baby. Yes, he's trying he's trying he try to join the conversation. Um, what's the yeah, man, the, my son does that as well. You know, they, they see you talking and know, they 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 in, the, in the mic and that. Um, what's it called? Cool. The, the 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 um the the what, what was I saying? What was, that, what was that? I was answering the point. Um, la, 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 la. um, what did you just say? Yeah. So Ezra just said, um, yeah, he he he, ven you know, he put he he does. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so if if if, if we're for a libation, yeah, we, we're not gonna say well, big up Shaka, even though you didn't let the white people in and you and you and you, and you, and you didn't kill you know, a certain man and whatever whatever whatever. Like if, if you're if, if you're in Pan African circles, like scholastically and them kind of things, there or you're reading books written by Pan Africanists. Bearing in mind that most of our understanding of Shaka was written by the British, yeah. Um, the the Zulu story of, of Shaka, yeah, is yet to be properly told. All right, but there are there are gross discrepancies between what the British put down and what the Zulus say themselves. Yeah, so they, 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 we have to bear that in mind. All right, at the same time, yeah, when you're in a scholastic circle where people are actually teaching about Shaka, you're gonna hear these things. I I've, I grew up knowing about these things already. That's why I say to you, there are debates in Pan African circles about the extent to which uh, Shaka made a positive contribution to Pan Africanism or not. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, it's not a given um, that everything that he did was positive. Isn't it? That's never been the case. But if I pour libation to Shaka today, I'm pouring libation to the good that he did, to the positive things. That, that's, that's the, it, libation is an invocation of the good, right? So, 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 so that, that conversation doesn't belong in libation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it belongs in other I'm, about I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying my kids personally, and that's, that's my thing. That's, that's, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let, let me come on my point. What do you say about King Solomon, yeah? Who's remembered so great? You're even King David, yeah. Where yeah. big bodge up in like King David put his trusted man, yeah, on the front line to get killed so he could take him wife. But he's he's like the, the, the heart, in the heart of God. And then you got Solomon, Solomon who had the, had the opportunity to build the temple that would house the name of the Most High God. Then brings all kind of mash up statue and idols. Because he let women take away him heart or lead his heart astray. Now what? Because yeah, yeah. he sinned, yeah, like all men. Yeah, he told, like, he, he, he forgot the Lord that told us. Not to, not, not you hear the excuses something. coming now. Here comes the excuses. <laughs> what I'm saying? Here comes the excuses now. Now, yeah. They always, always got, they always got to speak over me. This is kind of, no what's right, going on. Right. Everyone mute up. Let, let Ezra go on. Go no on. <laughs> so, so, like it says in the law, yeah, not to mix up and blend up your seed and have all these different women because they will come and teach your kids in the other gods. They will lead, they, they will lead your heart away into other gods. You get me? So Solomon sinned and he fell short on that one. You get me? And you know, he had all these mix up and blend up, yeah, yeah. And yes, for a moment in time, yeah, his head went and he had, you know, abominations in the temple and he was, you know, he's some mad stuff was going on. But yeah, he repented. You understand? We what? take that like that's what I'm saying. He repented. That's the difference. 
no, no, no. Right. Hey, what, what's that, What's that, what's that Yeah, but let, let me just address this here. Um, because I'm, I'm, I haven't been looking at the chat all day, and I'm just saying this. This, this is this is why I say what I say. Yeah, first of all, shout out to the, all the anti African spiritualists there. Cause what everyone says, they're gonna they're gonna find something. But first of all, the um LB is saying um what's it called Shaka Shaka Zulu, um had nothing to do with Europeans. Yeah. And um, Shakara just learned about Shaka Zulu, um, what's it called, last year, right? Now, um, bear in mind that that Ezra's analysis of Shaka Zulu's history, I have said I don't, I don't necessarily agree with him. I was taking his narrative for argument's sake. I was not the one who said that Shaka Zulu had anything to do with Europeans. I never, I never made that claim. Yeah, um, I, I made the claim that that he he comes about in an era in which Europeans are invading the land. What I said was that. The, the, the Europeans, he, he put so much fear in them that they wouldn't even go near um, the, the Zulus them. So bear that in mind. Um, uh, that's what was that's what was actually being said. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just pointing that out because people tend to not listen. But I did say for argument's sake, I'm not agreeing with your analysis, but for argument's sake, let's say it's the truth. Because the, the conversation today is not about Shaka Zulu, it's about African spirituality. So I'm yeah. trying to put it in the context of, um, of how that would factor into an understanding if it was true in, a, in from a, from an ancestral point of view uh, in an african spiritualist setting that's what it is let me just say um lady spade has made a good point here she says the only way shaka could learn about king george was through the whites he knew now what do you say about that ezra because at the end of the day he didn't have internet he didn't have the telephone and radio and all of that so how would he have known about the people their plans their weapons their potentialities unless he invited them in. Let's say, as an example, Ezra, what you got to say on that? Yeah, to me again, that, that stupidness. But get me like you know what I'm saying. Like we said, like we said, he ain't the first one to make that mistake. Get me? He's not the first to let them in. Think, oh yeah, yeah, let's figure them out. We, we smart. You get me? Nah, you should have learned from people who already made that mistake. You get me? If he was the first man to make the mistake, I'd say, you know, fair enough. But as Shaq has mentioned, this is happening all around, yeah. At this moment, his kingdom and a few of us, yeah, are free from that madness, you get me? So what does he do? Yeah, allows them to come in. Then, yeah, allows them to figure out his thing. Then, yeah, start selling them slaves. <laughs> and then oh, afterwards, God. when we get these problems in South Africa with apartheid and all that, yeah, you have to think, where did that come from? That's, that's, Where did they get in? How did they get in, in the first place? Ah, that was that was a yeah, fabrication. That was a fabrication. And that's not, uh, I said it. we have to start asking questions. That's what I said. Yeah. No, what I'm saying. Okay. No, I'm saying. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm person who's allowed the white person in yeah and got conquered and mash up yeah was playing chess and checkers too and it get me but they lost i mean so what i'm saying is yeah it would have been it would have made more sense yeah just like the israelites yeah we, we, we like we don't allow them they have to come and conquer us differently like we don't there's no mix up and blend you know me i'm saying but that's a... <laughs> hmm. okay um, yeah, so my point with Solomon sort of got caught. Um, so I'll bring it back and just say, well, uh, what you generally have simply is this, that within the Hebrew tradition, you have not only did the Most High God give this person, Solomon, the role of building a temple to house his name, the sacred Ark of the Covenant and the sacred tablets and the scrolls and whatever else, but also that his name will be remembered for generations to come. But um, he would be the one to cause the downfall of this place. But he's still remembered as the great King Solomon and King David, who's close to his heart, etc. So I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I yeah. understand that. You get me? Well, I, I understand that people can repent. And and I, like I said, I, I already mentioned that I appreciate that he changed his mind on these people. Yeah. And then, you know, started to fight. Yeah. Obviously, he's new war technique that is developed was get me effective you know what i'm saying so big up for why that why don't you put that at the forefront that's what i'm, I'm just why saying like, that at the forefront so, because Solomon, after he's, Solomon, after he's been, wait there wait there wait there after he's been selling slaves to the white man after he's bringing the white man in i'm supposed to just put at the forefront well you know he was fighting and he had a good technique 
Like, nah, I, no, no, I, I, I hear that. And I think it's good that you explore the thing. It's just when you when you're yeah, summoning up Issa, as a you have to understand, Issa, you have to understand the reason why Shaka Zulu is a hot topic of conversation is because my, my name is Shaka. That's what it is. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a generation. <laughs> <laughs> now you just made emotional. No, 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 it's just, just true because you said he, he named himself after Shaka the other day. I'm sure it was you that said that the other day. So that's. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who was Shaka Zulu ever big up and like when did he ever make an African? Right, let's move on, man. Let's move on. Forget you, man. I'm trying to figure out like, what did Shaka Zulu have to do with African spiritual system? I was because, using the African spirit that they highly revered. That's all I was doing. Yeah, yeah but how do you know he's an African spiritualist? Huh? You know, he, 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 was, he was consulting the African spiritual uh, that's priest. That's why you consult them. That's, why, that's their job. It's their job to do that. You're not, you're not, if you're consulting them, then you're part of the system, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what the elder's See. job is to do, though, right? No, listen no, to what I'm saying. There's some no, people... No, 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 no